Hi, my name is Rashid Alexander on the beautiful Caribbean island Curacao and you're watching Pink Planet. Hello, my name is Rupert Silvara Arendal and you're watching Pink Planet from the island of Curacao in the Caribbean. Hi, my name is Kiona. And my name is Nandi. And we're here in Curacao. And you're watching Pink Planet. Pink Planet. Hey everybody, we're on a small Dutch island that's fast becoming one of the gay-friendliest spots in the entire Caribbean. I'm Bill Mantis, in this edition of Pink Planet, we explore Curacao. Curacao is the largest island of the Netherlands Antilles in the South Caribbean. Although hateful attitudes toward homosexuals dominate on neighboring islands, things are starting to change here and a gay community is beginning to emerge. There are some islands who really screw it up for the other islands the Caribbean, um, thinking of Jamaica and Cayman Islands and so forth, but uh, we are the opposite. I think uh, we are friendly, we are open. Um, if you see, we, are belongs to, we belong to Holland and that brings along also a, a, another type of uh, thinking towards the people living on the island. We're a Dutch island, so and Dutch is like a very open-minded community and everybody here has been studying in Holland or has been to Holland, so they're actually used and accustomed to everything that happens in Holland and so they're very um, used to seeing different things. Also helping to fuel changing attitudes is a history of ethnic harmony. Believe it or not, the small island is home to 55 different cultures. Do you consider Curacao a leader in this regard, especially here in the Caribbean? When I look um, in the world at the great intolerance that there is, mm -hmm. that we are like a laboratory uh, where a lot of people could come and see how we do that. Um, and so <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we are, maybe we are. Proof of Curacao's cultural diversity can be heard on the street. Papiamento is a form of Creole indigenous to the Dutch Antilles. It's a mix of Portuguese, African, Dutch and Spanish words and is considered the national language. My name is André, I invite you to tour in Anan to discover the island of Bonita in Corsau, in Anan, in the Caribbean, and we will be able to see the island Willemstad is the island's capital and a world heritage site consisting of beautiful brightly colored buildings and a quirky landmark bridge. The entire bridge that I'm on right now is actually moving. It's making way for a tugboat to come through. Underneath us right now, big propeller engines that are helping to swing the bridge open. She is a bit wobbly. <laughs> you know, another name for this bridge is the swinging old lady. The swinging old lady. This part of town is called what? Punda, the Punda, point. The point. Yeah. And this, once we cross the bridge, what part of town is this over here? That's called Otra Banda, which means the other side. The other side. It makes so <laughs> it much sense. It sounds very so uh, romantic, but it is simply it makes means a the lot other of side. Sense. Emerging best describes Curacao's gay nightlife, but gay-themed events and gay-friendly establishments are starting to pop up. This is Limbo Bar, the island's first gay bar and a hot spot for drinks and dancing. I think that if, if other gay people look at us and see, well, they can do it, why can't we? That's that yeah. would be a great thing. It's great so they can also come on for and what they are. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rashid, a gorgeous gay belly dancer, works the crowd at Jacob's Bar. I'm doing very, very well. Are you? Like, yes. 
they accepted me, they like me a lot. <laughs> uh, when they see me dancing, they say, oh, always, oh, how can you do that? They did me very, very well. being more tolerant to the gay people, um, more people are accepting it, so there are many changes. You're watching Pink Planet in Curacao. Time for a short break. We're back with more right after this. When we come back, we head to the beach and make some friends at sea. <laughs> and things really heat up on a gay cruise, part of the Get Wet Weekend. Pink Planet is brought to you in part by Van City, Proud partners with Vancouver's lesbian and gay community. Hey, I'm Julie here on the island of Curacao and you're watching Pink Planet. Hi, I'm Rogelio here from Curacao and you're watching Pink Planet. Hi, I'm Lisa Thompson. I'm Sirian Sprock. And you're on the island of Curacao and you're watching Pink Planet. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Everything else okay? Did you sleep well? I slept great, like a log. If you explore the southwest coast of Curacao Island, you'll find a lot of these along the way. Cute, quaint little beaches. This is Playa Porto Marí. The first thing that you'll notice about Curacao's cozy little beaches is this amazing crystal clear blue water, perfect for snorkeling and scuba diving, just hanging out. We're at the world famous Dolphin Academy here in Curacao and people come here from all over the world for a chance to swim with these guys. Class begins with a group lesson before getting into the water to meet the dolphins. Okay, everybody, it's very important you're on your belly. If you turn around and run into them, you're going to surprise them. Kara, this way a little bit. It's a little intimidating at first, but they quickly warm up to you, and before you know it, you're laughing and playing. You're very friendly. Yeah, they're very nice. You know, you, uh, you're out there, what it is is that you are respecting them. You're observing uh, that this is their home you're going into. You're being nice and quiet. Like right side, you know, hands together, let them get next to you and touch the same ways you would interact with people is the way that you interact yes. with animals. Very respectful. You wouldn't just go right up to them and say, hey. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No more so than you'd walk well, up you to should, a stranger. Well, you should, Bentley. Okay. That was pretty awesome. One of Curacao's biggest claims to fame is the production of the sweet Curacao liqueur. Since 1896, it's been made in this tiny factory right here on the island. I'm going to go inside and get drunk right now. Made from the peels of the locally grown La Raja orange, visitors to the factory can see the production process and learn just a little about the secret recipe. I reveal one of them is clover, oh, okay. but the other one I don't reveal because our uh, formula is a secret, 
and uh, well, you it's can for tell me. our Come competitors. On, you, can tell me. <laughs> uh, you don't want to tell me? How do you say cheers? Uh, salut. Salut. Okay. Salut. Yeah. Say salut. 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 Cheers to Pink Planet. Pink Planet. Okay, Albert. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I am Albert Christian of Curaçao Factory, liquor factory in Curaçao, Netherlands, Antilles. You are watching Pink Planet right now, and keep on watching Pink Planet. <laughs> That's good. On the road again, we bump into an interesting character catching cacti at the side of the road. What is a good piece? Like, how do you know what a good piece is? It is a young. That's a you see? That, that is old. That's old? That's young. That's young. You want a nice, fresh, yeah. young it piece. Young. Can I try? So, what yeah. what happens when it falls on you? Just like that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah! Ow! Yeah, it's good, yeah, eh? You can shake it. You can't. Kadush. Kadush. This yeah. is a cactus. Yeah, cactus. Okay. What are you going to do here? Eat. You're gonna, we're gonna eat it? You have to okay, it. You gotta cut it? Okay, yeah. yeah. Do we eat this part? No, this what... that you gonna cook it. Oh, you cook it? Uh-huh. In like a soup yeah. or something? No, water. Just like a side mm. dish? No, like Just a like dish. A, like a, the main dish. Main. Yes, <laughs> my first Kadishi. Kadishi? Yes, Kadishi. Kadushi, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting the swing of the language. <laughs> He looks good with his haircut, doesn't he? <laughs> He's like a, a black Bruce Willis. <laughs> he doesn't cook at all. No roadside recipes, but a great chance to learn more about local cuisine. We take a class at Angelica's Kitchen. She teaches authentic Curacaoan style cooking out of her home. Angelique's got her work cut out for her as the Pink Planet crew takes a lesson. You're a good job. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and the amazing thing about this dish is that we, including that, me, and yes. these people back here actually yes. made it. And you that is it. a miracle. You know what, if I could cook like this all the time, I'd probably really like it. Well, that's the fun thing. You don't have to be a good cook or you don't really want to cook, but when you're doing it with friends or colleagues with a, in a group, oh gosh, what was that? What was that? Dinner! <laughs> 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 Dinner! <laughs> Watching Pink Planet time for a short break. We have more from Curacao right after this. <laughs> when we come back, we go cruising at the Get Wet Weekend Gay Party Cruise. It's hot. This one is hot. And we meet an openly gay billionaire transforming Curacao into a gay vacation hotspot. Here on the island, we have 60 beaches, six zero beaches. Yeah. Shouldn't there be at least one gay beach? Pink Planet's official airline is Air Canada. Book online and get out and about. Hi everybody, this is Wilmer from Curacao and you are watching Pink Planet. Hi, my name is Peter John de Jong, all the way here in the Caribbean on the cozy island of Curacao and you're watching Pink Planet. Hello, my name is Eric. My name is Kurt. We are in the island of Curacao and you're watching, watching Pink, Pink Planet. Planet. As Curacao's gay scene evolves, gay-themed events are becoming more popular. We happen to be visiting during the Get Wet weekend, which included a series of parties designed to do just that. One of the highlights of the Get Wet weekend here in Curacao is the navigation party. Get it? Navigation. It's aboard the Medushi party boat right here, and that's where we're going right now. Man of Curacao. Yes. 
dark, uh, um, muy muscular, muy, muy muscular. I think that means yeah. very muscular. <laughs> uh, uh, um, how do you say that? Big. Big, tall, tall, yes, meaty. big and tall. Yes, yes, some of them very nice, very nice. Yes. It's hot. This one is hot. <laughs> if you're not here, you're missing it, but it's very nice. Do you see yourself becoming an out person here in Curacao? Do you see one day? Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing me coming out, so it's yeah. coming. Slowly. Very soon. <laughs> Get Wet was created by a group of out islanders who wanted to help develop Curacao's gay scene. The clubs and things like that here are very mixed. Everything is very mixed here. Mm. We have we have bars here, but not 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 so many. That's why we are an organization right now that tries to make parties and things like that for the gay community here to pick it up. We are trying to to create a solid uh, uh, basis where there will be more than one gay bar and the possibility that, that also other, other places pick one of those places to, to organize especially things for the gays, gays on the island. I'm not nervous about it. You're not? No, I just want that because people have to get a costume to it. But if, when I compare it to, to, to 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you, you can see the change. I was really surprised tonight that I saw that there is a world, that there is a network, that there are people, you know, being themselves, being happy, being gay. What would you say to encourage more women to visit Curacao? We are open. We are very open-minded over here. I mean, why people are scared, I have no idea. There's enough places for gay women to go to and not to feel awkward, I'm very sure about that. I mean, you can go out, you can just have a good time and people won't come up to you and be like, you nasty lesbian. That's not how we are over here. <laughs> You're watching Pink Planet and it's time for a short break. When we come back, we meet one of Curacao's first openly gay couples choosing to start a family. At the beginning, it was difficult. You hear people talking. And we meet Curacao's super rich, openly gay developer. You're going to market directly to the gay industry. Oh, absolutely. Pack your bags, homos. Pink Planet and our partners are giving away a trip for two to the beautiful island of Curacao, including flights and accommodations. It's real easy to enter. Just visit pinkplanet.tv for all the details. Hi, this is Nick. And Martijn. And Michael. This is JJ. And we're here in Curaçao and you're watching Pink Planet. Hey, I'm Juni. My name is Marcel. We are here at Wet n Wild. And you're watching Pink, Pink Planet. Planet. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm Dave, we're here in Curacao, and you're watching Pink Planet. You're about to meet a super successful, openly gay business tycoon that's made it his mission to transform Curacao into a Caribbean gay hotspot. It's this guy right here, Jacob Gelt Decker. See, look at these buildings to the left. Yes. See, that's the way everything looked. He's a modern-day renaissance man with a mission, transforming a poverty-stricken neighborhood into a UNESCO heritage site, creating jobs and housing for local residents. What is important is to get people to do it themselves. Otherwise, you buy them again. And when the money is gone, they're, they're gone. You have to inspire it. Orphaned as a child in post-war Holland, Jacob went on to become a wildly successful international entrepreneur and philanthropist. Even more amazing, he's a cancer survivor, beating two different forms of the deadly disease while continuing his work on the island. It has had an enormous impact on my life, yes. How has it changed you? Um, it, it, I, I learned to realize that 
time and the future do not exist. They only exist in our mind. The only exist, the only existence, the only th thing that is, is today. His Seize the Day attitude brings us to Jacob's latest project, a gay-friendly resort development that will feature the island's first gay nude beach. Here on the island, we have 60 beaches, six zero beaches. Yeah. Shouldn't there be at least one gay beach? How much of it is you being gay, and how much of it is just it makes good business sense? Well, both. It has to stand on its own feet. Uh, but I understand the market. And uh, I'm not scared of it, whereas you know, other entrepreneurs may be a little bit scared. Nervous. And nervous to about it. Identify yeah, as, uh, sure. But I don't have that stigma. I don't know. And uh, free. <laughs> be free. Free go, at last. Go nude. Right, <laughs> right, right. Meanwhile, Daryl and Jermaine are also helping to advance the gay rights movement in the Caribbean by simply being Curacao's first openly gay couple to adopt children. At the beginning, it was difficult. You hear people talking and you hear through other people, people saying, uh, mean things. Mean things, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a polite way to put it. Yeah, that's a polite way to put it. Uh Nojad and Dylan were orphans living in extreme poverty before being adopted by the out couple. A bold move that has made Daryl and Jermaine instant role models for the island's GLBT community. <laughs> Dylan, okay, good start. <laughs> I have like a couple of people right now that want to adopt. And I'm just trying to tell them, take a chill pill, you know, <laughs> don't go too fast. You see, you see it really good, but uh, it's a hard, it's a, lot it, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. Yeah. But it's really nice if you help the kids. Do you guys realize that you're changing the island, the way the island works, thinks, feels? I really hope we're doing that. That's uh, one of the things I'm pushing for. Yeah. I want to make it a little bit more friendly, uh, especially gay friendly. My name is Daryl. My name is Jermaine, and this is Dylan and Noshad. Here on the beautiful island of Curacao, and, and you're watching, watching Pink, Pink Planet. Planet. And that's this edition of Pink Planet from the sunny Caribbean island of Curacao. I'm Bill Mantis. Thanks for watching. We're off to another destination. I'll see you next time. What do you think of this? I feel like taking this and just ramming it up your arse. <laughs> and she's the oldest in continuous use of the Western Hemisphere. Lovely look for dancing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, They're fresh pistachios. Hey, what? Hey. Take, Take one. Hey, Make my audio better. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at this up there. Look at that go.